Before I show you, I do want to say we did not install this kit. We did not sell this kit. I just saw it on a car. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Cyber truck. Nope. Hmm. What's this? Let me know if you need any help. Yeah, I need help. I need to get Cybertruck. Oh, hmm, that's an option. I'm trying to come up with a new vanity plate for my Cybertruck that's coming out. I'm so excited. I'm gonna think a little bit longer on this one. <clears throat> what are you doing today, bro? You're removing all the trim, you said? Yeah. Why? Because oh. Sean is going to wrap it. He's gonna wrap the interior trim? In shadow black. Ooh, that is cool. So guys, this Model X that you see here comes with this dark wood trim here. See that? It's not bad. It works. It's cool, you know, depending on your on your preference and what you like. But we are going to wrap it shadow black. That's so cool. I'm excited for this. This is cool. Tyler, what are you doing? Well, Haywood, I am removing the interior trim. Oh, but how are you going to remove that lid? It doesn't come out. It only slides. Oh, how'd you do that? I guess we'll never know. Welcome <coughs> to EVS Motor, your premium dealer for window tinny. <coughs> Guys, if you want to see what the trim pieces look like, this is it. So, here's the back portion. Portion. Back portion. The back portion. That's cool. It's nice. It's pretty sturdy, surprisingly. I thought it'd be a lot flimsier. Dude, than honestly, this. tearing them apart is kind of like Legos and it's kind of cool. So while Tyler is removing the panels, let me show you what we're going to wrap the uh, interior trim pieces with. This is really cool. We've done it, I just don't know what we have anymore. Are you talking about brush? No, we're doing uh, Shadow Black. What black? Shadow Black. The one that we did on the Rolls Royce hood. So what I'll do is I'll show you the sample, and that way you guys can see it. Hey, uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Like the only thing he seemed to have discrepancy with was, was just the shipping. Um, if you want, uh, you're available credit. Okay, where is it? Where is it? What kind of Mercedes is that? Well, this is awkward. This is the wrong one. 63S. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Oh, there it is. This is the color that we're doing. It's kind of like this camo black. You guys see? It's kind of like this camo black. You guys see that? It's pretty cool, right? What's interesting is that this looks like camo black, right? But when this is actually on a bigger piece, like a hood or something, it actually looks more floral. It's interesting. I don't know if we'll get that same effect with the interior trim, just because they're a lot skinnier and they're a lot smaller. But I'll show you regardless of the end result. It's gonna look good regardless. We're doing something a little different today. So we got in new samples of clear bra. So we have a matte sample here, and then I also have a normal gloss clear bra sample. We love to test out new products that come into the market or new brands that have developed their own products of clear bra or tint or whatever it may be. We're always on the move to try to find something better. We want to be a studio that when clients come in, they know that wherever they buy, whether it's something as simple as like an air freshener or something as detailed like a wheel brand or a clear bra, they know that they're getting something that we actually did research on. So we have a little mini hood here that we paint gloss black. As you guys can see, we're going to do the gloss clear bra on one side, matte on the other side, and we'll also do a gloss clear guard nano. Hood isn't perfect, as you guys can see, there's like light scratches here and there, but I just wanna see how the film does as far as clarity goes. Okay, so we have the gloss clear bar already laid down. We're letting it cure, as you can see, there's a lot of water in there still, so we're letting that cure. Guys, don't let my quality of installation reflect the quality of the shots. I just can't get anyone else to help me right now, so I'm just doing it myself. So cut me some slack. All right, so I get asked all the time, hey, well, what is the difference between having a chrome delete done that is hand trim, custom made, custom done, right, by hand, versus buying a template kit online. And I'm gonna show you that right now. I'm gonna let this example just speak for itself. Before I show you, I do wanna say we did not install this kit, we did not sell this kit. I just saw this on a car, and I just had it to point it out and just do a PSA for everyone that's interested in doing a template kit. That way you at least know what you're getting yourself into before you buy one, right? It's all about having the expectations and standards before you do something. That way you get exactly what you're looking for and nothing less. Okay, let's go. So look at this carbon fiber wrapped fender badge on a Tesla Model S. From this angle, from this distance even, it looks it looks okay, right? Yes, I had to get this far back. It looks okay, right? I'm looking at it through this small little screen on my camera. From this, from the small little screen, it looks okay, okay? 
Like, look at the corners here. These are excess flaps. I guess the installer didn't know what to do with this, so he just left it there. He pinched the top and the bottom part together, and now you have, like, this weird little ear. Little flapping dog ear on that side. And you have it here, too, but this is a lot more wrinkly. And the bottom here, too, has the same issue. It's just way too much. They didn't cut anything. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I wonder if you know how they live in Tokyo. What's the deal with this wheel? Well, Tyler, if you recall in a previous vlog, this wheel was curved, but now we got it back. Let me show you. Wow, no curb in sight. It was well done. It looks great. It is brand new. Back to the client. Okay, so we have this Model X here. We sent this off to get the calibers painted yellow. We have it back now, so let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna see you the first time with you guys, all right? Yellow calipers. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. It's such a nice, subtle pop of color without being too over the top, especially on a black on black on black Model X. Can you see it? Oh, Ferrari yellow with the Tesla letters in gloss black just to kind of keep the theme. And here are the front ones as well. Really clean. Really happy with how it came out. Back to the clear bra test. So I have the sample clear bra on the hood. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm no installer, okay? My installation looks like this. It really does. So please do not judge our quality of installation based on my installation alone. I am not an installer. I'm only doing this because I want to test out the, the clarity of the film and all the guys were busy, so I just did it myself. So this is a sample that we were given. It's visibly more unfocused. It's blurry, sort of milky looking, kind of foggy, ripply. You know what it looks like? It looks like you have a dream filter on or something, you know? It's just, nothing is really focused. Everything is just kind of soft. So this is ClearGuard Nano. Do you guys see the difference in just how it shifts from the sample to ClearGuard Nano? If you guys look at my, my, my hair right here on the sample, and then when you come down here, do you see how you see much more of the, the strands, I guess? This is clear ground nano, so it's a lot clearer. It's very evident just the way it looks. It's a lot sharper. It doesn't have that, what I call that dream filter on, I guess you can say. It just looks more realistic because it's clearer. So what I look for in matte films is I look to see if it maintains the OEM finish while still providing a satin matte effect to it. What a lot of brands do is to get that matte satin effect, all they do is they wash out the color of the paint by making like this gray scale film. That way when they put it on the paint, it just washes out the color. It's not really a true matte satin version because what ends up happening is you lose your paint color. It becomes washed out. So this is a sample. It looks pretty standard in my opinion when it comes to like what I've seen in the industry. It, it has that, that washed out effect to it. And this looks super gray, at least in person it does. I don't know if you guys can tell. And this is satin guard. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is a little richer of a black than this one is. Look at the light reflection here. You see how it continues into the sample film? You still see the reflection, right? But check this out. As I go down to the satin guard, it's completely gone. There is no more reflection. When you come back up, it's there again. So what that tells me is that the satin guard film is actually absorbing more of the light and it's dispersing it. So this is what you consider a true matte slash satin film than this. Like even this spotlight here, you guys see that here from the top? So if I bring it down, it's pretty much gone. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys like that test. Again, it's not scientific. I know that. And the installation quality was not the greatest. Again, that was done by me. I'm not an installer. So don't worry. If you get your car cleared up by us, trust me, it won't be me doing it. Unless you want me to, then we can work something out. I just want to show you guys this test. That way you guys understand that there is differences between films in the market. All right, so we got done with this Model 3 clear bra in the full front end and the rear bumper. So I'm just gonna do a quick walk around, make sure everything looks good. And I'm gonna bring you guys along just so you guys can see our quality of work while I'm at it. So we did a full front end. So there's the full hood, full front fenders, the front bumper, even the headlights are done, the mirrors are done, and the rear bumper. Get away, get away. So this one is a template coverage. Great affordable option if you want coverage the full front end. So basically what that means is all the pieces you see here are cut with a plotter. So it's more affordable for clients. It's also quicker to install. Plus you still get a good full coverage. So it's really nice. And again, just look at the, and again, just look at the clarity of the film. So the fender has clear our nano. This door does not, right? But if you look, I mean, the color is the same. It's identical. The panels that are covered aren't gonna look different. Look at that, it's identical. And that's why we use Clear Guard Nano. Clarity is just unreal. Dude, this thing is so shiny. Look at the, you guys see the metallic flakes in the paint? So we did a paint correction on this, a stage two. We also clear about the full front end. The flakes are ridiculous. The ceramic coating that we put on here really makes it pop. And then you 
get her close it, and we're just like, Whoa! That thing is crazy cool, though. Time to go to war. Or, all right, guys, that is it for the vlog. If you want to watch our previous video, click right here. If you want to watch a recommended video just for you, click somewhere here or subscribe right here. All three, if ideally all three, especially this one. Get to work. Stop worrying about it. What the f